Welcome to St Mary's Church in East Cottingwith. Due to COVID-19 restrictions, we are unable to bring you our normal Remembrance Day service. What we have today is an abbreviated service provided by Gareth Denby, Reader Emirates from the Diocese of Portsmouth. And I hand over now to Gareth, who will take us through the service. Welcome to all who are watching this act of remembrance. While on this occasion, we primarily remember all who gave their lives in the two world wars. We must never forget that conflicts involving British service men and women didn't end there. There have been many conflicts since, involving service personnel all over the world, such places as Korea, the Falklands, Ireland, the Gulf Wars, Afghanistan, Iraq and Bosnia. So we remember too all those who over the years have given their lives in military service. And we think also of those civilians who suffered and died playing their part in war. We begin with the collect, the special prayer for Remembrance Sunday. God, our refuge and strength, bring the day near when wars shall cease and poverty and pain shall end that earth may know the peace of heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Let us remember before God and commit to his sure keeping those who have died for their country in war, those we knew and whose memory we treasure, and all who have lived and died in the service of humanity. And now Joan is going to rail, lay a wreath. And from this parish and this village, we remember John Bealby, Private J. H. Carbert, Harry Smith, and Fred Nottingham. They shall not grow old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will remember them. remember them. And we're going to keep our two minutes silent.
when you go home, tell them of us and say, for their tomorrows we gave our todays. Remembering is not just taking note of the past, important of that is, as that is. It's important too that we learn lessons from it. And so we make this act of commitment. Let us pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and our fellow men and women, that we may help, encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. And so we say together, God, our Amen. Father, we, we pledge, pledge ourselves to serve you and, and all humanity in the service of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Guide us by your Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now and always. Amen. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the Church, the Queen, the Commonwealth, and all people, unity, peace, and concord. And to us and all God's servants, life everlasting. And we ask that the blessing of God Almighty Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be with us all and all those who are dear to us, now and always. Amen. Amen. Amen.